What's up deputies, officer, first 30 minutes here. We are doing another towing patrol. This time we are with Triple A, so we're actually not with any certain police department for today's episode. We are simply a civilian working as a tow truck driver. We're gonna be given instructions on which cars to tow based on reports of either um, owners of businesses wanting these vehicles removed or we can even take towing dispatches directly from police. So I, I kind of was just playing around with the outfit and ended up with this, got some gloves on, a hoodie. It's a little chilly out, as you can see. It's snowing. I think this is the first time I've ever attempted to tow in the snow. So that'll be interesting within itself. We've used this tow truck one time before, but it was actually a European spec um, vehicle now we have the correct license plate San Andreas and then as well in the back so let's go ahead start the towing episode for today our first car that we're gonna tow is this vehicle right over here um, the owner of this business totally rental has requested this vehicle be towed it's been uh, sitting here in the parking lot for um, according to the owner two weeks so we're gonna go ahead and attach the vehicle then we're gonna drop it off I still think we're gonna drop it off at the nearest police station which will be our impound lot so let's go ahead and equip as you can uh, see here this tow truck it has a ton of LEDs on it it even has these um, side runner LEDs on the the bottom of uh, the vehicle so we're attached let's go ahead see where the closest station is gonna be actually there might is this Rancho yeah there's a towing facility or there's an impound lot right near this police station so we're gonna go ahead and just take the vehicle there so we'll notify our towing dispatch we've got the vehicle hooked and let's go ahead and attempt to get it towed. Hardest part about towing is getting the vehicle there without anybody else running into the car. Something with the AI in this game, they don't, they see the vehicle is parked still, so uh, they run into it, they don't care. So hopefully we can make it to the impound lot without too much damage. But I gotta say, getting something towed is expensive. The other day I had to get my motorcycle tow to a, um, a local repair facility for motorcycles and it was $74 for almost five miles a lot of towing companies at least in the uh, United States have a hookup there we go look at this taxi he's about to hit it have a hook a standard hookup fee so you know just for arriving there and then um, a lot of them depending on the mileage they'll have a, a standard rate for each mile um, I know when I was trying to determine who to who to tow my motorcycle, the first company I talked with wanted $85 just to hook up, that was a hookup fee, and then $4 a mile. So to get it towed to where I wanted it to go, it was going to be $150. It always amazes me and to get your vehicle out of the impound lot there's pretty much a standard rate so um, depending on the company it could be you know 150 to 200 dollars so we're at our impound lot here we're just gonna place it in uh, probably just lay it down here in the middle I think I got it here without too much damage shockingly all right, we are unhooked. We'll cut off our lights and we'll head to the next towing location. We've arrived at our next location. It's actually a tour bus that has broken down. It's a very large vehicle. We're gonna see if this tow truck is able to tow this thing. I have no idea about the, the towing limits on this type of vehicle. This might be um, something that requires a more capable tow truck but let's see if we can hook up all right we're hooked we're gonna go ahead and try to tow this thing 
We've got movement. This thing is ginormous. Let's go ahead, put a marker down. I'm gonna take it to that same impound lot. This is gonna be a struggle to pull out of here without getting hit by anything. Wait for traffic to clear and then we're gonna attempt to make this right hand turn. Looks like we're gonna be headed northbound for probably two or three intersections. like everybody's stuck at a red light here yeah I have no idea if this is against safety regulations this tour bus is ginormous okay come on let's get a green light I doubt anybody's gonna stop for me to let me through oh man look at this traffic backing up You gonna let me through? Oh no. Oh no. This car is, is kind of letting me through, but not really. We just need to merge. We need to get on the road. Look at him. He, every time I pull up, he tries to, you know, edge up a little bit on me. He's playing some mind games here. Okay. Are you gonna let me through, buddy? Look how close he's getting. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get hit. And then what, This we have a broken down car here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think I'm stuck. I think I'm caught on this pole. I cannot believe a car is broken down in front of me. Are you kidding me? That is the worst spot to break down. Nobody's letting me through. If I cut my wheels to the left, I'm pretty sure I can get around this car, but that's the problem. Nobody's gonna let me through here. This is a nightmare scenario. And what is, somebody's in the, t in the tour bus. Oh my gosh. We've got an individual in the tour bus. He's yanking me. What is going on here, sir? Get out of the, get out of the tour bus for me. What are you doing? Kick to the head. Get out of here, man. Oh wait, we had a moment to go. All right, we're clear, we're clear. Took a few times to crank it. Oh, oh that's tight. All right, finally. Had a minor setback there, but we were able to finally get out of the parking lot, waiting for that green light. They're gonna be headed straight, looks like for two intersections and then taking a right. All right, we should be getting the green soon. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm flooring it right now. I know you probably can't tell, but I am flooring it. This is a heavy, heavy bus. Oh going off the road a little bit and of course we've got AI traffic trying to run into me green light the trucks doing good it's getting the job done um, I should probably put on my flashers as well all right I've got my caution lights on too just to let other people know that I am driving extremely slow I did have the flashers on in the Greyhound, but every time I get out of the vehicle, the flashers cut off. All right, we're 
going to make this right hand turn. We are almost there. Okay, this is going to be um, interesting to get into this impound lot. Do it without scraping anything. Oh yes. Oh yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead. Detach. All right. We'll wait for another dispatch. We've got another business that's called for our services once again. It's an abandoned vehicle. Luxury car wash contacted AAA and sent us out here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hook up. All right, we're hooked. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door though real quickly. A lot of times if a tow truck's towing a vehicle in this way with the hook, um, they'll have additional brake lights on the back of the towed vehicle as well as have that vehicle's hazards on just for the safety of other drivers because it's hard to tell when the tow truck's actually stopping if they're towing another vehicle behind it. So looks like we're just going to be doing a small loop. We'll go ahead and pull out here. Much easier to tow this than the tour bus. A right hand turn here, red light, come to a stop. Make sure it's clear. Beautiful. Red light, we always get the red lights. So we're gonna have to go through this intersection, then we're taking a right hand turn at the next light, and then we'll be there. So far though, no problems. Might be my best toe yet, but watch, I'm gonna jinx it here. Nobody's behind me, perfect. Just waiting for this vehicle to make a right hand turn. All right, this guy's gonna cross, and then we're gonna take a right, green light. Awesome, I think we're gonna get there with no damage to the car. The owner, if they ever do get it out of the impound, will be happy to know it was not damaged. For abandoned vehicles, I'm not sure exactly the procedure. It probably depends on the department and or the state the abandoned vehicle was in. But if nobody, if the vehicle is towed off and it's abandoned and nobody claims it, what happens to it? Is it just auctioned off at some point of the year? If anyone knows, let me know down in the comment section. We've been dispatched over here by the city for a vehicle that has a lot of unpaid parking citations. So we're gonna hook this thing up and tow it to the police impound lot. Oh my gosh. Looks like there's some type of pursuit going on. He actually set off the car alarm of the vehicle I'm towing. It's gonna be the same route pretty much from the luxury car wash. Actually, can we make a right hand turn here? Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna make a right hand turn and then we'll go here. We'll make a right, then a left, then a right, and then another right. I think that's gonna be our best approach. Unfortunately, it's already been damaged by that police pursuit got scraped up a little bit. You know, I would think the towing company would be liable for damages that occurred during the tow, but I don't know for sure. All right, this is gonna be another good tow.
I'll bring it into the police lot if I can. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to. Will this open up for me? No, it will not. I believe you have to be in a police car for that to open up. So we'll take it here. This is the LSPD auto impound actually. No unauthorized entry, 24 hour CCTV in use. So we'll park this one right next to the other car we just brought here. And let's unhook it. Perfect. All right, guys, that's going to conclude today's towing episode. I hope you did enjoy it. Actually, I think I'm going to put this under Los Santos goes to work. I think it's more appropriate considering I'm not even technically with a police department for this episode. So that's what I'm going to do. As always, leave your comments and suggestions down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you.